Of all the places around here, she decided to lay her eggs in the lousiest place possible. Usually the ducks I have doesn't care all that much about the egg they are laying. Uh, they just poop them out wherever they are at the moment and continue on with their day. But sometimes a duck chooses to gather some eggs uh, and make a nest to make some baby ducklings from. And that's what have happened here now. She chose the messiest place on the whole farm, uh, gathered some straw and some bale plastic. And for the last month she's been protecting the eggs, only leaving them once or twice a day to have a drink and some food. I have considered moving them to a better place, but I've tried that once before and it didn't go so well. Uh, the minute I interfered with her operation, she uh, immediately left her eggs and uh, went on to join the, uh, the rest of the flock and also leaving me behind like a doofus. And I don't want to be a doofus, so uh, this time I've let her alone and let her figure this out all on her own. Yesterday two of the eggs were hatched and this morning I think it was four or five. Uh, so now the waiting game is on because not all of the eggs hatch at the same time. It can go a couple of days actually. And the mother has to decide when it's time to abandon the eggs and go search for food and water for the new baby ducklings. The thing is though that when she does, I don't think the ducklings will survive that long. I had a duck hatch some eggs earlier this summer and I went in one morning and found five dead ducklings uh, laying on the floor in the coop. And I believe it's the drake that kill them and I don't want that to happen again. As of now though uh, in the nest she's doing a pretty good job protecting the ducklings. Whenever I or another animal approaches she chases me or them away. But the moment they leave the nest uh, I think they're sitting ducks or running ducks or uh, moving ducks, jeez. So I'm making a wall of hay so they can have this whole area to play and grow on. Uh, at least it's dry. She's been out there in all kinds of weather for uh, about a month. So my plan is that the moment she leaves the nest and takes the ducklings to go out and about, I'll move them in here so they can grow a bit before I take them out with the rest of the gang.
Because I lost two. <laughs> It's safe to say that I could have handled that differently, uh, also with a bit more grace. So of course that didn't work, the moment I stepped out of there she was gone uh, and went hiding and I didn't know if she didn't want anything to do with the ducklings anymore or if she was just startled by me but I didn't want to find out so I made a small enclosure and put them all in there together hoping that she'll calm down and take them back in. And if not I put a heat lamp in there and some water and some food and I'll monitor them closely uh, to see how things are going. Maybe I'll have to step in and be a duck dad but hopefully she'll calm down and uh, this will sort itself out. Next time I'll do it differently though uh, and probably move them all in a big box. <laughs> the best thing though would maybe not interfere at all and let nature take its course but I think that would result in some dead ducklings here and uh, so I decided to let nature sit this one out even though I probably could have done it a better job than I did. I'll keep you posted on how things are going in uh, future videos and before we leave I just want to thank you for all the nice words from the previous video. Uh, thank you <laughs> That's a comment section I'll be going back to whenever I feel the blues for comfort for a very long time. I really do appreciate it. Uh, you guys are great and uh, thank you for watching this one. I'll see you next time. Toodaloo!